everyone, it's Danielle. Um, I am going to show you today how to take a PDF document or a document that you have scanned into your phone from like a hard copy and you want to make it into something that's editable for your students to use on Google Classroom. So the first thing I'm going to do is, this is a book that I have from a few years ago. I'm just using this as an example. Um, so this is a PDF version of the book. So let's just say I want to use this um, page of the book. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this and on a Mac you do that by hitting shift, command, and the number four at the same time and you're going to get this target um, looking thing as your cursor. So you're going to click down on the mouse pad and you're going to drag onto the page that you want to take a picture of. So I don't need the entire screen, I just need this section. So once you hit let go, you'll hear that it takes like a camera, you'll hear the lens, and here's my screenshot. Now, um, it's going to name it screenshot, but in an effort to be organized, you want to rename it. So I'm going to rename it subject meets meet predicates because that's my worksheet so it's renamed I can click out of here now so I'm gonna take that screenshot and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a Google slideshow so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go to slides.google.com and slides if you haven't used it is just like PowerPoint but for Google so you're gonna hit the plus sign because you're gonna create a blank um, slideshow. Now I don't want this with the title so I'm gonna create my own layout which is blank. I'm gonna get rid of this slide by just hitting delete and now I have the blank slide. I'm gonna title this the same thing as my worksheet so subject meet predicates and then I'm going to make this look like the worksheet so I'm going to go into file page setup. I don't want widescreen. I want this to look like the page. So I'm going to go to custom eight and a half by 11 and I'm going to hit apply. And it's going to look like the worksheet. Now I could go into insert and insert an image. But if you do that, when you assign this to your students, it's just a picture floating around on the slide. So they're going to be able to move it. And we don't want that to happen because they'll move it or they'll change the size of it. Sometimes it'll get deleted and it's a big mess. So the easiest way to do that, to avoid that actually, is to just set that picture of the worksheet as a background image, which is really easy. You're just going to hit background and image you're going to insert the image so it's on my desktop right here i'm just dragging it over i'm gonna hit done and there's your worksheet so now your kids won't be able to move it or anything when they get it see it's it's stuck there it's the background so let's just say i wanted to take it a step further and i wanted to give them text boxes, you could do that too. You could tell them that they can type directly on it and create their own text boxes, but if your kids are not really that savvy, you could put a text box in by clicking here, the T with the square, create your own text box, and then uh, you can write type here, and you can keep doing that for all the spaces where you want them to answer and you would just align it so that it lines up with the lines and you would just continue that until you're done and then all you have to do is go into your Google Classroom and you'll assign it like you normally would any assignment they can type directly in it they can't move the image and that's it um, if you want to give them extra space you can tell them to write on the sides here um, or you they can you can make another slide for them and they can continue their answer on the second slide. So that's how 
you make a PDF and editable worksheet for your students.